Good morning. Ooh, it is a Thursday morning, which is a little strange because normally I'd be at work, right? But it's the 4th of July, so I have it off. Most people have it off. Surprisingly, my favorite coffee shop is still open, so I'm debating, like, do I go because it's open? Or do I stay home because, I mean, really, I feel like they should have the day off too. But... And it's still currently a mess um, in here because I started my day by getting some stuff done and getting some laundry put away. So that's a win for the 4th of July. Now I can just do nothing for the rest of the day. No, nah, probably not. Probably, probably not going to happen. And here we go. Everything is now back in its place and we are ready to start the day. And I'm going to start this day like I start most days by opening this door and saying Good morning, bacon girl. How are you? And voila, she is fed. And this over here is just in a sorry state. I need to either figure out how to prune this thing because you can see like it's starting to grow back to some green after I put some uh, liquid fertilizer in there. But that flower is plant is just super leggy and long and I don't think that it's gonna really regenerate itself well unless I figure out how to prune it correctly so probably something that I might look into this weekend. Oh right, seeing as they're open I am going to make a stop at Moon Goat for breakfast and coffee of course. Oh yes! And I was actually just thinking about how about this time, uh, I don't know, like five six years ago, I was uh, starting my second go at the, the 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 5K down in Huntington Beach because on the 4th of July they have one every morning. Or they have two, I guess. I went and did the first one and I thought that my friends were going to be there to run the first one with me. But then they were there for the second one, the later one, and I was like, well, might as well go again. And uh, now I can't even... Can't even, can't even run one of those, so how times change when you get old. And one of my favorite things about this place is just the atmosphere of it and how much they got going on that's just like coffee themed. Like, look at all this. So much, so much to look at, so much to choose from. And a bagel and a drink coming up. Coffee also acquired. Right, so, oh. Take on scream cheese. I've gone and got myself a golden geisha. Sorry, I'm still trying to figure out where this is at. And it's been a while since I've given like a proper review of a coffee or really anything um, on this channel. So uh, in order to do this coffee justice, I'm going to give it some time to cool off so I can fully drink it and instead consume the bagel. All right, the bagel is gone. And I did a quick sweep of the house uh, because just general accumulation of dust uh, during the week requires it. But I think that this Golden Geisha is now finally cool enough. It's still really hot uh, to give you somewhat of a... I just get the labeling in there. All good. Give you a, uh, a proper review of... Um, a legit review, a solid review. Because if it's like super hot and just burns my tongue, be like, well, it tastes like hot. The reason I'm squinting at my computer screen is because I'm taking this opportunity to look up the full description of this thing before I see sorry I'm used to the camera being over on that side I'm um, looking for the full description of this thing so that I can like really explain what it's supposed to taste like alright so I'm actually at crema.co which is a website and they've got gold mountain geisha moon goat coffee and I I do have the full description here so it says Mario Alar Alarcon Melendez at Monte de Oro prides himself on his mechanical engineering background to optimize and innovate all elements of his fifth generation farm. This hard work and creativity results in a beautiful example of the geisha varietal with the classic tea-like body, okay, paired with the sweetness and acidity of blueberry candy and a honey-like aftertaste. So we've got a tea, like probably a very light body to the coffee, sweetness and acidity of blueberry, which is going to probably be the acidic flavor of coffee, and then a honey-like aftertaste. So, without further ado, gold, not the golden geisha, gold mountain geisha. Let's give it a taste. I can definitely, it definitely smells like tea. Like, in the description, it says blueberry jam, like it has the flavors on there. It says blueberry jam, honeycomb, and oolong tea. I mean, it definitely smells like tea, 
I got the acidity. I'm not really sure of the blueberry. Let me, let me give it another shot here. Honeycomb, not as much on the back, but maybe it's just not throughout the whole coffee. But overall, pretty good. It's, it is a very light body. So if you're not into like really heavy coffee, like it does have bitterness to it, but it's, it's very light. Um, it does have like that sweetness on there. But I think the biggest thing, the thing that stands out the most is how light it is and how it does like smell like tea. And, oh, I'm like picking up just more and more stuff as I go along here. But you don't need to listen to me. You can go get one yourself at Moon Goat. They got one in Garden Grove. They've got one in Costa Mesa. They have one in Irvine now. And I think that's all the locations as of right now. But very good coffee. Um, I hope that they enjoy what they do. And uh, I'm just going to keep on going back until I can't drink coffee anymore. And then maybe I'll just eat bagels there all the time. Who knows? My plans for the rest of the day, um, my big plan for the 4th of July is going over to my parents' house because I didn't see them last week. And then they went on a trip where they were out of town for like almost a full week and now they're back and um i'm gonna go over there we're gonna have some good food which is typically what we do but also i've got some goodies look at this we've got one of these oh yes yeah, very nice and we've also got some of these yeah that's what i'm talking about but that is for later for now what i want to do um with my morning because i'm not going over there until probably like in the middle of the afternoon um, is I want to do some streaming. Yeah, I haven't really gotten to do a whole lot of it just because of being busy with work and then also like going out and doing things with plans like this past weekend. And that's just the way life is, you know, you got to do what you got to do. But I do miss streaming. I genuinely do. People that watch my streams that are seeing this right now are probably like, sure you do. How come you're never on? Well, I just, that's just life, man. So I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my headphones on, get my microphone plugged in and uh, probably just play some Minecraft. So if that's your cup of tea, um, you can find my Twitch right here, uh, and that is where I will be just gaming. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll, maybe I'll make a schedule one of these days. No, probably not. But I'm gonna do that, and um, I'll catch up with you later when I'm over at my parents' house enjoying the Fourth of July. See you in a bit. So I roll up to the house, the Fourth of July. That's a brand new car. Holy mackerel! And a pin. Playing pig. Well. Um, I got a couple of glasses. Everything in that store over the same price. A dollar? Oh. Four seventy nine. Everything. They want mug. There's peanut. Hey, baby. Are you hiding? Exciting. I barf when I'm excited too. There you got the tires dirty. They were like that. Oh. Oh, you weren't kidding. You have four tunners. What the hell? <laughs> Cam's wife. That's me. <laughs> that is you. <laughs> <laughs> that is you. <laughs> That's, That's me. me. <laughs> and on the phone, I sent him a text message from the car and it said, LOL, this was sent from my Ford. <laughs> <laughs> State of affairs is I'm on top of a box. <laughs> They're gone. Bones are going off. Cheers. Cheers, Blondie. <laughs> it's vanilla -y. Alcohol kills germs. Brown <laughs> roast. Corn ribs, mushrooms, potatoes, veggies, buns. What's missing? Beer. Beer. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? Oh, wait, are we having the Uncle Doug beer? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Unlabeled. That's dangerous. <laughs> And then they broke off and started doing champagne because he didn't want to do champagne. Mm -hmm. So they broke off. And... Apparently this one was made by my uncle, so I'm sure it's going to be good. I 
am not shocked at all <laughs> by the amount of fireworks that are out because I feel like ever since they made safe and sane fireworks like legal in the city's county area that I live in, ever since then uh, people were like, well, we're staying home instead of going to shows because we can do safe and sane, so why not just light off all the other ones too? I just hope that you're having a blast if you're celebrating today uh, for the 4th of July. I hope you've had a good time because you'll be saying this afterwards. Whether that is blowing stuff up or just staying home and chilling with your family like I did or even just doing the normal stuff you would do on any other day. I hope that you had a good time. I hope you stayed safe. I hope your loved ones are happy and safe as well. And uh, just close out the night with some fireworks, huh? Fortunately for me, I do have work in the morning, so I still gotta try to get my head down and get some sleep. I think I should be able to. I can sleep through just about anything as long as I'm tired enough. But I want to show you a couple things that uh, my parents brought me. So they got me this digital kitchen scale for weighing food. My mom said it's for when I'm baking. Some, it looks like a couple of dish towels that have various alcoholic beverages on them. I've got a mirror because, you know, I love, I love the way that I look, I guess. <laughs> no, this will come in handy, especially when I'm like trying to cut like cut the back of my hair and stuff like that. It's 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 going to help. They got me a shirt cuz they went to the Russian River Brewing Company and um they picked up a shirt out in Sonoma County. Pretty neat. And last but not least, I showed this one earlier, but they got me a Blind Pig pin from the same Russian River Brewing Company. And one of the beers that we had was Blind Pig, and another uh, was actually one made by my uncle at home. And that one was really good. It was like a brown ale. So tasty. And I also brought home the cheesecake, which is under all that stuff, because my parents didn't want me to leave it at their house. So, oh no, cheesecake for me. Um, but not tonight. Tonight... I gotta go bed. I gotta go get to bed because I have work in the morning. But um, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed your Fourth of July. If you celebrated, if not, then I hope you enjoyed your Thursday. Um, I'm gonna take a shower, get to bed, and then we'll see what more will come from this video. Um, toodaloo! Fourth of July festivities have come to a close, and it is now a Saturday. Skipped right over Friday because. Not really too much went on. I went to work. I came home. I did some live streaming, which was nice. Um, I did get to enjoy a beer that a friend of mine had given me from work. So um, had that while I was shrimp stramming. And it was a good old time. But now is the time for the gym. So let's keep on chasing these gains. Fourth of July is really over. <laughs> All right, it's time. Okay, so a little off the top. And I didn't realize how much green there actually was after cutting away all that brown. There's still a lot of dead like leaves and things in there. But um, as far as pruning, I cut off all the dead heads. I tried to trim up some of the longer stems to encourage it to grow more closer to the base and be more of a bush than a branching tree. <laughs> but I think it looks better. It's green. I'll give it some water, try to get it healthy again, and maybe we'll get some more flowers. I freaking love the shaker bottle. <laughs> Makes it so easy. I'm gonna get some protein in me. 
actually gonna make some more protein, get some chicken in the oven before it gets too hot, even though it's already kind of hot and muggy. And I'll probably end up live streaming today and just hanging out uh, until later when I have D&D. So I'm gonna relax, I'm gonna cut this off here, and um, I'll talk to you a little bit later. It is a lot later, not just a little bit later, and we have a bit of deja vu uh, because it is the entire next day. It is Sunday and I am back at the gym. And really today's just gonna kind of be more of what I was doing yesterday, which is go to the gym, get some stuff done at home, get a live stream in, and just hang out. Um, I did end up playing D&D &D last night though, and that was a lot of fun. Uh, we leveled up, so that's super exciting if you know D&D. Um, anywho. Considering the length of this video, I think I'm going to wrap it up because, like I said, today's going to be a repeat of yesterday, pretty much, uh, minus the D&D, &D. and um, I just got to get in there and do some grinding because it's leg day, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for uh, watching. Um, I hope that it brings a little bit of light into your life because, really, I'm just recording to have kind of a log of what I'm doing with my life, so when things happen like the 4th of July or, you know, I go out and just go to the gym and want to keep track of it. Or, uh, you know, like next weekend, going out to celebrate a big uh, birthday. That is something that hopefully I get a couple clips of. But I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Have a lovely week. Hope you're ready for it. And I will see y'all in the next video. Toodaloo.